All right, so this is a tutorial on how I make my thumbnails for YouTube videos. Um, it's gonna be really quick and basic without any edits, honestly, because I'm just gonna do it all in one take. Uh, because it's really not that experienced or like anything too difficult. So uh, the song I picked is just Space Race. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with some Gaussian Blur out here. So you wanna select the layer. Uh, go to filter up top here, go to the blurs, and you will find Gaussian Blur. This shit is the greatest thing to ever exist because in, you can blur backgrounds. It doesn't need to be like the focus of your thumbnail. So I took screenshots of three sections from Space Race Expert. You can use Gaiazo or the Windows screenshotting feature for this. It's very simple, very easy. Um, you literally just need the highway and specifically this tool right here this third tool right here the polygonal lasso tool this shit is fire bro so you click it and then it basically lets you select around the highway so you can get a free and easy cutout of the entire highway so after you select all four and get it connected you right click hit select inverse and you could either like do like the delete key which is what i do or then just like yeah, so I'm just gonna delete. There it goes. Now it's just an independent highway. Uh, when I'm nothing selected, it like you can see if it looks good or not. So I will do that right now with all three of my highways. Um, there will be some give at the top because I forgot to turn off image backgrounds, but it is okay. It will still look good in the end results after some filters and stuff like that. So we're gonna get this last one done. Okay, select inverse, select the layer. If it's not deleting, then you probably don't have the layer selected or it's still a background. In that case, you right click it and turn it into a layer. And there you go, all three are done. So we're gonna put this in a way where it looks good on the thumbnail and the things that you want to be seen the most are in the center. So I think that I want either this or this in the center. I think I'm gonna go with racing A and put that in the center. So we're gonna take the uh, racing B screenshot Control A, Control C to copy it in here and then switch to this layer and Control V it into here. You can move it around with the second tool right here. Free transform and move it to the corner. I'm gonna be doing a three highway thumbnail with two thumbnails on the side and one in the center to focus. You can tilt it any way you want, make it look nice and dandy. Now, after this, usually I just put some drop shadow behind it um, I usually just put it on normal, max opacity, and then mess around with the spread and the size to see what looks good. Sometimes you could do white, sometimes you could do red. In very specific cases do I use colored highways, but most of the time it's just black to get that nice little random pop behind it, just a little shadow behind it. So there's highway 1. Highway 2 is just going to be these open notes, select the layer, control A, control C, drop it in here, right click it for a tree straight. Yeah, free transform with the second tool and I try to make it as even as possible using the highway here So you see how the green is slightly cut out I'm gonna do the same thing with this orange here when I tilt it and make it as big as possible So it goes like that. So it's slightly out the green is slightly out click away the height looks pretty even to me I might have to make it a little bit uh, smaller Yeah, I think I'm gonna make it slightly smaller there we go, and that is two highways on both sides. Actually, you know what? That is still too massive, I'm not going to lie. So we're going to... Boom. All right. That looks good to me. First two highways, pretty solid. And we're going to put the main highway now in the middle. Control A, Control C. Control V, that bitch, into the thumbnail. You know how it goes already. Um, and then we're going to make it so it's taller than the other two, but is it isn't overstaying its welcome. So it's slightly above these two highways and of course we're gonna put drop shadow on it and it's see how it's slightly above in terms of height no tilt it's all in the middle so this is the main thing you want focused on in the thumbnail besides the side highways and that's what it, I usually do for that now we're gonna do before we get to text and everything else that I usually do we're gonna do highway filters which is probably like Another thing that is like really nice in thumbnail, so I either do uh, motion blur or radial blur. For motion blur, you can see here that it adds a little bit of like stuff to the 
to the highway to make it look like it's moving. Actually very useful, it looks very cool in some of these thumbnails. You can make it look dumb as shit, or you can make it look, you know, like something's happening there. Or, uh, you could go with the really less option that I usually do, uh, set this to like 2. Uh, so I usually drag all the way down, and then hit OK, and it just says that for the highway. Um, I could repeat for each one, but I'm just going to do motion blurs on the, the other side highways. And you, I usually center it in the middle notes of the highway and then set it to like 16-ish. Um, that's usually the, the main number I use, maybe less depending on if the notes speak for themselves. But 16 is usually the main number for those kind of blurs. So next we're going to work on text. Now this is probably like... A big part of these thumbnails so I will put space race in the thing and then make it smaller um, we will just go like this and we will leave it like that so of course we're gonna go through all of these filters not blending options I don't know why the fuck I clicked that actually that does remind me though I will show you a trick that I use for some of my thumbnails, it's actually very flippin' cool. So, you see here, we have the Space Race text, we have the Drop Shadow that is the same one that is applied to all of the highways, and we were going to do a gradient overlay to better match the background, so you can turn it on right here, and on gradient, you can double click on this, and there's these two little boxes on this corner. We're gonna change the color of the first box to almost like a green-ish. Maybe like in the in the middle of a like a teal blue, but also still green. I like that pink and green, but we're gonna change this to let's see, let's see. White looks really good with this, so we're gonna go white here. And now we have a green to white uh, gradient, and you can change it with these settings right here. I usually sometimes use reflected or linear because every other one looks like dog shit. So these are the two ones that I use. Now I just told. Um, Quacky and uh, Bugs about this. I'm in VC with them right now, but I'm uh, filming this. Bevel and Emboss, this shit makes the text pop. So I usually set it to chisel hard. Uh, I change both highlight and shadow mode to normal. And then you can mess around with these, the size and the soften. Soften gets rid of it more, but it's you can still see it kind of pops on around the A here. Um, but it kind of cancels it out a little bit so you could like max it out i don't really usually do that you can change the depth which makes it look extremely dark or you could just leave it at about maybe like 50 or like 40 something which is what i usually do so for this text we're gonna do maybe like 95 i don't think it really changes once you get past like 80 ish so we'll leave it like that and then i'm gonna change the font to be something that is related to space like the death star font which is a very nice font, honestly. If you need to look for fonts, you can literally just look up like, if you need like a glitchy font, you can just look up glitch font download and it'll take you to websites that have fonts that you need. Um, other than that, this is, this is like the most basic versions of a thumbnail that I could make. Um, we're just gonna make this a little bit bigger here so it's in the center. Uh, this one doesn't really look that good, but I will cut right now to another thumbnail project that I am working on and I will show you exactly what kind of stuff I do over there. Okay, so this is gonna be thumbnail number two that I'm going to work on. Uh, it's gonna use some of the similar principles as the other ones. Uh, so let me just open the highways real quick and I will see you guys in a second. All right, so I have both the highways open and if it doesn't look very obvious to you, which to some people it won't, this is Sky Fracture VGH that I'm going to be making a thumbnail for. So I have this background right here. Very glitchy because it's like a, yeah, it, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna apply some of the same principles here. We're gonna start with the Gaussian blur, etc., etc., And we are going to crop these highways. So I will probably uh, 2X speed right here. So, uh, Corky. Okay. 2x speed over. Now we have these done. Control A, Control C. Pop that bitch into the screen, the fucking thing. This is gonna be two highways. We're gonna put them all in this right corner. 
So we'll make it bigger. We'll tilt it. And we're gonna, this time we're going to tuck this one slightly in the corner like this. Now, you're going to see why in a moment. Uh, we're going to add the drop shadow to it. And then we're going to grab our second highway, which is like the Quinn section in Coruscant Fort. This is the Space Race thumbnail. Sorry. Uh, we're going to throw this bitch right here. And we're going to toss it on top. Give it a little bit of tilt. Not too much, though. But it's going to be lower than the second one right here. Because although it's in front, you still want the back one to be seen when it's just these two in the corner. So we're going to have it like this. Uh, we're going to add the same similar effects we did with the other thumbnail. We'll just do a 16. I'm going to move this all the way to the top. And then I will do the same for this highway right here. Where the fuck is the top? There it is. Okay, why is it? Okay, that is hot steamy ass. That is way too far up. That's because it's Gaussian Blur. I'm very smart. Motion Blur. Nope, that is no. <laughs> I am doing good thing. Okay. Motion Blur. There we go. Okay. So, both of these have Motion Blur on them now. We're going to be doing it. Text again. And I'm going to show you one of the dumbest fucking tricks I have ever learned. So, we'll just do Sky right now. So, we can put it in the frame. So... This shit is very stupid, but it makes for beautiful, like, glitchy text or, like, highways, which I'll do with the highways, too, in a moment. But for now, we're just going to put the text here. And we're going to change the font. Do I have any, like, good glitch font? I don't think I do. Uh... Okay, we're just going to use another danger because this looks fine, I guess. So, we're going to do the same principle here that we did last thumbnail. We're going to add drop shadow to it, bevel and embest. The settings are already saved from what I did last time. We're going to make another gradient here. So, we're going to make this here. We're going to do like... Let's do like a lighter pink here. Yeah, hot pink-ish. And then we'll leave it like... We could leave it like this, but we could add a bottom of... Almost like a brighter purple. There you go. So there's that. Now, all right. So this right here is probably one of my favorite tricks. So we're going to duplicate this layer. We're going to duplicate the text. So there's another one, right? You're going to want to make sure you're on the move tool for this. Right click the copy. Go to the blending options. And you can try this with any of these, but usually I just get rid of red. So it's just green and blue, or you can get rid of just this or just this. It doesn't really matter. All three of them work. For, for, for me, I just prefer getting rid of red. So hit OK. And then usually what I do here, I, hit, I use the arrow keys and do a few ticks to the left or right. And it gives it a little bit of a glitch effect. See, like uh, right here, there's a lot of like offset, but the offset of colors between them give it a nice little glitch effect on it, which looks really cool in thumbnail, thumbnails that I do. Um, we're going to do the same with this top highway here. I'm not going to do the back one because I'm just kind of too lazy. So I'm going to get rid of this. I forgot to duplicate it, but this is one of the, also one of the cooler things that you can do. Just getting rid of the red elements of it in the first place because then you can just make some really cool highway effects with it. So again, we're going to duplicate this layer right here. Okay. Blending options. Going to get rid of that red. Stay on the move tool. Arrow keys to the left. Glitch effect. You can go even farther if you want, but I never really go out that far. Um, and then you can get rid of the drop shadow, so it's just the back one, but I usually keep it because the drop shadow glitches out too. But uh, other than that, that's basically how I make my thumbnails. Um, so yeah, usually I make thumbnails in like five minutes-ish, five to ten minutes max, if anything. Like I'll throw on screen some of the thumbnails I've made for people in the span for like of like 10 minutes. I'll see what I have on my computer. But uh, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Uh, just a quick little tutorial because I have not made content in a long time. So uh, there you go. Bye bye.